हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू टूडे एम डॉक्टर परमजीत एंड यू आर वॉचिंग डॉक्टर एजुकेशन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एज यू नो आई मेक वीडियोज अबाउट हेल्थ एंड हेल्थ केयर टॉपिक्स एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नेचुरल फैमिली प्लानिंग येस टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू थ्री वेज हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल योर फर्टिलिटी यू कैन ऑप्ट to get pregnant or to avoid pregnancy by using these methods these are three natural family planning method and as you know all my information as and as you know all the information given in my videos are directly referenced from the internationally accepted US National Medical Library so you can trust the information if you want to know about health and have health concerns then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon you'll be notified about all upcoming videos natural family planning is a form of pregnancy planning or avoiding it does not involve machines or devices natural family planning also helps you to know when to have sexual intercourse without the risk of getting pregnant it can be used if you are trying to achieve pregnancy also or if you want to avoid pregnancy this basically involves keeping a track of your bodily changes throughout the menstrual cycle as a woman you can do this see what happens is pregnancy can occur if sexual intercourse takes place right before or after ovulation so ovulation is key ovulation is when the woman's ovaries release an egg and it usually happens around the same time each month so when ovulation occurs the egg moves towards the uterus through the fallopian tubes and this is where conception takes place an unfertilized egg can actually live up to 12 hours so your body will shed it during the menstrual period if it is not fertilized so 12 hours is the main window of opportunity or risk as per your point of view so there are basically three methods of natural family planning which are currently practiced first is to observe the mucus mucus or which is also called as the ovulation method in this a woman checks and tracks her cervical mucus during ovulation what will happen your mucus will become stretchy clear and sticky and sleek basically it will look like and even feel like egg white uncooked raw egg white so you can just observe your discharge vaginal discharge and it's not just by observing you have to write down your mucus consistency each day only then you will be able to compare so that's one method of writing down your mucus consistency and checking for an egg whitish consistency for a stretchy for a stretchy clear and sleek mucus the second method is symptothermal method now in this a woman can actually take daily basal body temperatures by using a bbt specific thermometer a basal body temperature specific thermometer they are little different you can take the temperatures through your mouth through the vagina or through the rectum through the anus also a regular bbt is between 97 and 98 degree fahrenheit now at the time of ovulation your basal body temperature your bbt will rise between 0.5 and 1 degrees between 0.5 and 1 degrees so you should take your bbt in the morning before you have moved out of the bed now when to take the basal body temperature is very important you have to take the temperature in the morning before you have moved out before you get out of the bed 
ideally it should be at the same time of the day and you should use a thermometer the same way each day to get an accurate result the third approach is a rhythm method it is basically on the calendar dates of a woman's previous menstrual cycle this method can be more difficult and is not as reliable right it does not allow for the changes in the menstrual cycle which are common it will not work if your menstrual cycle are irregular which are very common so a normal menstrual cycle which can be between 28 to 32 days and at the day woman starts her period is considered to be day one for cycle and ovulation often occurs around day 14 of the cycle so that's the third way sometimes people can combine approaches that means they can use all three methods together that's actually the best way but in all three methods you must use a calendar or a chart to track the data and the changes this predicts when you ovulate so you can actually partake or abstain from sex during that time now there are some other symptoms which you may notice during ovulation which you can even track these include bloating back ache tender breasts and sometimes pain in your ovaries ovarian region lower sides now you may choose to find someone who can help you doing the tracking or you may consider uh, asking your gynecologist for a recommendation or regular counseling but know well when you follow the natural family planning method to prevent pregnancy the success rate is about 90 percent so it's not bad so when you follow this method to conceive the average two out of three couples who don't have fertility problems will become pregnant so no well when you follow this natural family planning methods to prevent pregnancy the success rate is about 90 percent that's very good and even if you follow this natural family planning method in order to conceive to get pregnant in that case also two out of three couples who don't have a fertility problem become pregnant so that's also very good so if you do not follow the instructions completely then this method may be less effective so what are the benefits it's free it's cheap it does not involve any money as compared to birth control pills or condoms and natural family planning does not have side effects and the best part is you can stop doing natural family planning at any time and it won't affect your menstrual cycle on the other hand natural family planning requires you to keep a constant schedule so that is actually good for you to track your menstrual cycle whether they are healthy or not but yes if you are not very careful or not paying proper attention not keeping records then you may not be successful with the natural family planning so in that case you may need to use a backup contraceptive and if you have abnormal menstrual cycles irregular menses or if you are breastfeeding then natural family planning can be unpredictable so then that is very hard to do that if you are already using a certain method of contraception and want to shift to natural family planning before doing that it's best to ask your own gynecologist whether there is any health condition that prevent you from using natural family planning then is it actually wise for your case to shift to natural family planning and how long can you do that and you can even discuss the cervical mucus consistencies normal as well as during ovulation with your gynecologist so you should discuss these things with your doctor before shifting to this if you are not doing anything that doing this is better than nothing so that's all about natural family planning hope you got the gist of it and hope you uh, understood and hope you liked the video if you did then don't forget to share this video to every single woman you know and 
don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon those who don't know me i'm dr paramjeet and this is my channel i'm a consultant physician cardiologist in the ashola super specialty hospital in ermaga delhi ncr and i make health and healthcare videos all authentic and verified top notch videos don't forget to check out other videos and i'll see you tomorrow same time same place stay connected stay healthy